So what is the treatment of choice for a woman who presents with infertility and the following pathology is picked up on evaluation. So your patient has come to us with infertility, right? So what are the basic investigations you do? So in the females, we will look for ovulation. What else? You are going to look for tubal patency. And in the males, you are going to look for semen analysis of the male partner. These are the basic investigations we must do. Right? What is this investigation? This is an HSG film. Yes, so this is a hysterosalpingography film. And what does it show you? So it shows you multiple small irregular filling defects. Yes, so multiple small irregular filling defects. And this means we are talking about what? Ashermans. So what is the investigation of choice in Ashermans? Yes, it is going to be hysteroscopy. And you all know what we are going to do in hysteroscopy. It is both diagnostic and therapeutic. That's why it is the IOC. So on hysteroscopy, we will break the adhesions. So we'll do a adhesiolysis. Then we are going to give high dose estrogen for one cycle so that there is a buildup of the endometrium. And yes, we will put a pediatric bladder catheter in the uterus, not in the bladder. Okay, So the catheter is put in the uterus to prevent reformation of the adhesions or to prevent recurrence. Close it. Close. Yes. So to prevent the recurrence, we are going to put the bladder catheter for one cycle. Okay. So we are going to do all the above here. Now quickly tell me further questions. Asherman syndrome will present with primary amenorrhea or secondary amenorrhea. So very very important. AIMS mein na multiple completion type questions hote hai. So you have to know that this presents as secondary amenorrhea not primary. Second thing that AIMS is fond of asking is what would be the relevant history if I have to give this question with a clinical history then what would be the relevant history? History of instrumentation and most importantly it will be like a DNC or a curatage like MTP right so history of instrumentation uh, the preceding history would be a DNC or a curatage okay bacha third important thing jo aims bar bar confuse karta hai FSH levels are going to be normal Yes, what are the normal values? Less than 10 international units. Jabki, if you talk about pregnancy, pregnancy also has secondary amenorrhea. But in pregnancy, the FSH levels are low. They are usually 1, 2, 3 international units, right? So they are suppressed levels. Whereas in Ashermans, they are not suppressed. They are less than 10, but they will be in the normal range. Is that clear? Third important thing, we could ask you highest risk. So when we ask you highest risk, you know that is if you do a curatage for postpartum hemorrhage, then the risk of Ashermans is highest. Fourth MCQ that they could ask is which infections can cause Ashermans. So remember genital TB and schistosomiasis. Then Fourth important thing, you all know they can present with infertility. You all know they can present with amenorrhea. They can present with hypomenorrhea. Right? Can you tell me one more important clinical presentation where I see students get confused? So, agar if it is a multiple completion question and we are asking you about clinical presentations, what else should you know? So, infertility, yes. Amenorrhea, yes. Hypomenorrhea, yes. What else? Remember, it can also present as recurrent pregnancy loss. It can also cause dysmenorrhea. So, you should specially know these if it is a multiple completion question. Yes. 
so dysmenorrhea or cyclical pain recurrent pregnancy loss you should know that these can also be seen in women with Asherman syndrome also the second place I feel you students get confused is the order so most common presentation is like this infertility agar aap individual presentations ko uh, you know compare karoge the most common is infertility then amenorrhea then hypomenorrhea but if it is a group then it will be menstrual irregularities more common than infertility because menstrual irregularity is a group of complaints is that clear i hope you are not confused on that lastly i would want to ask you what about progesterone challenge test in Asherman syndrome positive or negative because I feel students get confused about what is positive what is negative so please remember PCT will be negative it means no withdrawal bleeding okay so progesterone challenge test will be negative serum E2 levels will be normal FSH also I have told you will be normal E2 will also be normal so your exams are specially asking about hormonal associations as well so you have to know the findings so E2 will be normal FSH will be normal in uh, Asherman syndrome is that clear Bacha? yes so I think it will solve all possible MCQs that you get may get from Asherman's which is an important topic for INICET